guys, this is Tech Effect. Today's video, we will be discussing what you need to know before buying either an Apple iPhone or a Tesla Pi phone. We will also be discussing the features of each phone to know which is better before your purchase. Make sure you watch until the end so you don't miss out on the juiciest part of the comparison. Without further ado, let's dive into it. The Tesla Pi phone is one of the most anticipated products created by Elon Musk, but the Tesla Pi phone as we know it will be competing against some of the already established phones in the market. But today, we will be comparing it with the famous Apple iPhone. In this case, of course, the latest of the Apple iPhones, the iPhone 13 Pro. With the Cupertino-based corporation becoming a household name, selling over 200 million smartphones statistically in 2020, there is no denying that Apple does a lot of great things with its iPhones with new features every year. There is no doubt that it can welcome a new challenge from another smartphone. Apple is well known for not manufacturing its phones, but still the corporation designs and develops smartphones in the United States before contracting out the actual manufacturing, such as the camera lenses, CPUs, displays, and other equipment to be made by partners all over the globe. While Tesla, owned by one of the world's wealthiest billionaires, might establish its assembling factories if it wishes to keep its legacy of building its goods. Selecting a factory for making products, on the other hand, is not the same as EV plants. The corporation might take a conservative approach and outsource the first few units. We need to consider certain features when choosing to buy either of the two phones. Camera. When choosing to buy a new smartphone, the camera has to be one of the first things to consider. iPhone is popularly known for its better camera feature as one of the best smartphones with a good camera, as seen from a previously produced smartphone. Back to both phones, the camera setting on the iPhone 13 Pro and the Tesla Pi phone are remarkably similar. However, the latest and most powerful iPhone, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, has three lenses on the back, 12MP plus 12MP plus 12MP rear camera resolution with a 12MP front camera resolution, and it has been revealed that the Tesla Model Pi phone will have four lenses, having a 16MP rear camera and a 13MP front camera resolution. The Pi can do even more, although the iPhone does take great photos, including wide-angle images. For example, anyone can shoot phone shots directly into the sky at night and take high-resolution pictures without the need for prolonged exposure. This is a detail that Apple still does not finish 100% perfecting. You can even use one lens to take photos while the other lens captures video. Batteries Another essential feature to consider when choosing between the Tesla Pi phone or the Apple iPhone is the battery. Depending on the durability or how long it takes to charge, even how long it lasts after being fully charged, the iPhone charges through a port or wirelessly. Without a doubt, it is the cell phone with the most complaints about how slow it charges and how long the battery lasts compared to other phones out there. Now, while in the Pi model, wireless charging has not been fully confirmed, although it would be rare if they do not implement it. But it will include integrated solar panels for charging with solar energy if there is no power outlet to charge. That won't be difficult for Tesla as it has incredible solar panel production processing power. Processor The smartphone's processor is another crucial feature for you to consider when choosing a good phone. The processor tells you how fast your phone operates. As for Apple, they continue to improve its processor every year. Although the gains have not been highly different from previous models, the latest iPhone has the A15 Bionic chip. Many Apple consumers have commented on seeing its improvements compared to previous models. As for the Tesla Pi phone, not many details have been reported on its processor, but it can confirm that the Pi model will be compelling since the Pi phone is known to travel much further than the iPhone. And this way, the Mars coin, the official currency Mars, can trade and earn a living. You can only pay for purchases without using a wallet or card with your cell phone. Now, cryptocurrencies will not be the only reason the Pi model will need a powerful processor since it will also use technologies in the eye of scandals. Tesla's Pi model will use Neuralink technologies, the Neuralink will read signals from the human brain by implementing chips in the brain itself. According to Musk, it will not be for sinister reasons or to control people. This technology will be able to correct some health problems and potentially help people with language problems and mental retardation. Many people, of course, do not agree to implant chips in people. Screens The iPhone is popularly known for its screen with a sleek border, 
The iPhone has a screen size of 6.1 inches with a screen resolution of 2532 by 1170 pixels. Apple made famous the design of the black border where the front camera and other sensors are located. However, although other manufacturers have tried different designs, such as an in-display camera, Apple has only reduced the border size. Many people dislike the layout as it takes up valuable screen space, and for others, it ruins the aesthetics. But if you like Apple's system, it's something you just need to get used to. However, the Tesla Model Pi will have no bezel. Still a screen size of 5.8 inches with a 1920 by 1440 pixel resolution does make the screen continuous and pleasing to the eye. The catch is that Tesla has put the camera under the screen and out of the way until you need it. The fingerprint scan is another thing that the Pi model has under the display that the iPhone still lacks, a technology that other companies already use, but the iPhone has not decided to implement. The iPhone 13 Pro Max also has a pixel density of 460 ppi with a Super Retina XDR OLED display type. In comparison, the Tesla Pi phone has a pixel density of 440 ppi and an LTPS QHD Plus display type. Back feature. On the back, the iPhone has classic Mac glass, a famous glass for cracking in the slightest drop or accident, so it is always necessary to put a new protector on as soon as you unpack it. Like the iPhone, the Tesla Model Pi has a prominent logo on the back, but the phone can change color based on the sunlight. This is due to the photochromic coating on the phone. This will give your cell phone an incredible touch that you will never get bored with. Connectivity Before the anticipated release of the iPhone 13, it was reported that it would come with satellite connectivity, but this did not happen after the release. But the Pi model will indeed be able to use the Tesla Starlink satellite service to connect with the internet at high speeds. You've heard of Starlink, one of Musk's newest ventures, which is gaining traction like wildfire. Even though the service is still in beta, technical testers seem willing to pay for the dish and per month to access high-speed internet anywhere on Earth via SpaceX's styling satellites in space. The service will be released from beta shortly and more individuals will use it. The iPhone has a Tesla app that many Tesla car owners use to control their vehicles remotely. However, since the iPhone operating system is not under Tesla's control, the app restricts many functions. The Pi model will come with full integration to Tesla vehicles and others to come out. Nevertheless, something more intriguing is that SpaceX has registered to provide telephony services. While the specifics of the offerings have yet to be revealed, there is no question that the Pi phone will profit. It's possible that users won't need to buy a SIM card in order to use the Pi phone. So there you have it, guys. Hope it will be enough for you to be able to choose which phone is better before buying and then let us know which one you will be getting down in the comment section below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more further updates. See you guys later. Have a good one.